Progress has been reported in mediated hostage for ceasefire talks underway in Cairo. Egyptian state media said there is agreement on the basic points between Israel and Hamas. Israeli Hamas and Qatari delegations left Cairo and will return within two days, aiming to reach terms of a final agreement. Consultations will continue over the next 48 hours. The deal reportedly includes an extended ceasefire and the release of hundreds of Palestinian security prisoners. Demonstrators in Washington and other cities held pro-Israel rallies demanding the release of the 130 hostages still held in Gaza after six months of being held in captivity. Most Israeli forces have pulled out of Gaza, and only one IDF brigade remains inside the enclave. The IDF withdrew all of its forces from Khan Yunus, and now only the Nahal Brigade remains in Gaza, holding a strategic position on the main north-south highway. Israel says the withdrawal is tactical and unrelated to pressure from the Biden administration. Within hours of the IDF pullback, five rockets were launched by Hamas from the Khan Yunus region. The Iron Dome defense system responded, successfully intercepting two of the rockets. Intense cross-border exchanges are ongoing along the Lebanese border, with Hezbollah mainly on the receiving side. IDF fighter jets carried out strikes on a military compound belonging to Hezbollah's elite Radwan force in Qaim, in southern Lebanon. The compound included seven buildings used by the terror group. The IDF said it also struck a Hezbollah command center in Tura. Earlier, a barrage of rockets was fired from Lebanon at the Golan Heights and the Manara area. The potential for the hostilities to escalate into war continues. Another phase of the IDF Northern Command's readiness for war was completed, centering on operational emergency storages for a broad mobilization of reservists and regular troops if and when needed. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.